Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Master of Punk's Tamer Sages, the King of Ring himself. But your boy Thicky Smalls, Gerard Michaels, in the house. We're all off right now. Oh, now we're on, bro. Now I hear me. It's green. green now means, I hear me. Yo! It's Monday. It's two. That means it's time Let for go. Slick and Thick live here on Gas Digital. It's your boy, Thicky Smalls, the vanilla gorilla, Honky Kong himself, Gerard Michaels, coming to you live from New York. I like the way you've acquiesced to your new nicknames. New York. And that I like the way you've done is it. the sweet voice of the sweet boy himself at six foot three. Get 210 pounds, and every one of them is a problem. The CEO of the RNC, the master of punks, the tamer of sages, the king of the ring himself, <laughs> Mickey Gall. What's up, Slim? What up, baby? Roy? How you doing, bro? Now, and we I are look? joined. Huh? I mean, how do I look? Come on. I man. look how I feel, brother. Hey, bro, I. What was it? Or I, 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 I feel you how I look. You didn't, you I'm didn't, great. I'm great, basically. I'm, yeah. I'm basically, I'm great. You didn't ask to look like this. But I would have. <laughs> <laughs> and we are Shit. joined today. With our second only recurring guest outside yeah. of the great Eva Lovia, with whom we have big news coming up big soon. Big news coming. Big news with Candace Horbach, aka Eva Lovia. We have. Hey, so what? No, never what? Mind. You keep going. Huh? You keep going. Huh? I just didn't like the way you emphasized your uh, what that name there. Batch. Yeah. The previous. Uh, never mind. Keep anyway, going. We, 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 we can move on. We love Candace. Of course, we're we big do. fans of Candace. Yeah. She's been on the show twice. Yeah. And now. Mike Constantino, been on the show twice. Hey, Mike Constantino, friend of the welcome, program, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank welcome you. Back. I'm honored to be the leading man, the only two time That's appearance. Right. I love it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Thank you for having me back. Of course. And you brought a friend today, Mike. I brought a dear friend. Yes, I did. Shall want, I like uh, kick it to him? Yeah. It's the one and only Scott Fairlamb. <laughs> Wow, his introduction sucks. Yeah, I thought you're, yeah. you don't have a big introduction. Like what happened? Okay, he's that. the Sultan of SWAT. The <laughs> smile. Uh, I don't know. Go ahead, Shohei Take over. Otani. <laughs> Take it over. Right? Wow. Scott Fairlam, ladies and gents. Scott, what's going on, man? How are you? Hey, man, I can't call it. Just out here uh, living in the free world. Living in the free world, which we're going to get is, into. Which is new. Is which something, is a change as yeah. of late. Which is uh, Quite new. a Quite new, new form of living for you, as it were. Yes, yes. No longer in the uh, the concrete box. Yeah. Tell us about that, man. Life. Get, wow. Give people a little background on you for the, those who don't uh, know you and know your story. Well, I'm a uh, political prisoner. 26840-509. Uh, I'm a my... political prisoner from Cuba. From yeah. Cuba, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, just recently uh, released uh, June 8th after doing uh, 28 months. Golly. 17 days. 11 months in solitary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back out here. Eleven months just... in solitary confinement. Fuck. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, no way to live life, man. No, no. I couldn't do eleven minutes in my own closet. Yeah. Well, it either. I mean, it's either. Bitch, you've been doing thirty-six years in that motherfucker. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gay joke. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> The best jokes are the ones you have to explain. Yeah. So, true. so yeah, you are. True. So now let, we're we're kind of jumping the shark a little bit here. We're going to the end at the beginning. You were arrested during the January sixth. Um, what was it called? An insurrection. The insurrection. Yeah. The, Nobody charged with insurrection. The incursion. Yeah. The what, what, siege what do we call of it? the capital. What do we call it? Yeah. It was. A, it was a, a very polite display of disobedience. Mm. Yeah. Although Ashley Babbitt was murdered by the feds. Who along, have never been along, charged. Along with a woman named Roseanne Boylan, who was uh, beaten to death. Is that right? Yeah. I yeah. was unaware of that. So on uh, Lower West Terrace, a lot of the the uh, beatings occurred. Uh, now, she was the one that they said uh, overdosed on, uh, uh, what was it? Some fentanyl? kind of, yeah, fentanyl or something, but it was actually like. You know, so this is alleged because we can't prove it. Yeah. But I mean, well, yeah allegedly I mean, the video doesn't beaten. lie when she's getting beat 35 times over the really? head. She was yeah. there's video of it. Yes. I'm unfamiliar. I haven't yeah. seen it. They I don't know if you know about the internet, but um it's not exactly uh open source anymore. Right. It's, well that's it's, just it. It's well, curated. Along with the all the hours of evidence that they're withholding. Yeah, you know, that that is the yeah. most and itself is exculpatory for so many guys. I mean, you look what happened with uh uh, the guy Jacob Chansley. Not, That's that, I'm, the, uh, not that I'm a fan of the that. shaman, right? Yeah, he's a clown. But but whatever, he's whether well, he's well, a clown or he's not. Well, why do you th- why do you say he's a clown? Well, this is the guy who first, he, he was one of the first people to flip 
and say Trump sent him there and Trump this and Trump that. And now he's jumping back on the bandwagon because it's a cool thing and his candy ass is out of fucking prison. Uh. We had the same judge. We had the same judge. And, uh, well, this is the judge. You had the judge then that is on the Trump, uh, the latest uh, Trump indictment. I don't know about that. Uh, Roy Slammer. No, it's a different lady. Uh, apparently the lady who gave the most amount of jail time to, to everybody. January 6th. Yeah. Uh, you can look this up, Natalie. It, it's the Trump. And now this is the judge that is on the third Trump Chug, indictment. Uh, Chudigan or something. Something. Uh, Chug, and she's, she's an Obama appointee. Yeah, that's close to it. All right. But I, I don't want to skip too far ahead because details are very, very, very important in this episode. You're talking about... Um, Somebody got beat to death. There's there's video that shows it. Now, Jacob Chansley, for people that don't know, he did... He's a dude with the Viking helmet. Yeah, and, he was uh, he was the uh, shaman. Like, yeah. 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 Complete. Yeah. yeah. And, and they show video of him walking around, like, kind of talking to people, like, at, you know, he seemed, like, pretty polite. Like, he was, like, kind of being people, escorted people through the building. Down. Yes. They and that, and that but, they, but they hit all this shit. Yeah. That's the point Correct. I'm trying to get at. Correct. So yeah. this and, man and did... That's... And 36 months, I believe. Huh? I think he did 36 no, he months. Didn't. No, because no. I was sentenced. I got sentenced after him, and he was released before me. So he got released to a halfway house. But he got released. His evidence came out by My Tucker. understanding is he didn't even get released until that Tucker Carlson expose. Right, but that was months before I got out, and I was gotcha. sentenced before him. So there's no way he did more time. So what the, the big problem was is that you didn't. Tucker Carlson didn't cover your case. Is that the idea here? Or? Well, I mean, there was an assault involved in my case. Mm -hmm. I mean, make no doubt about it. You see me punching a police officer in you the do. face. That'll you do. That'll do it. In yeah. That, facial. That, yeah. Well, here, here's what now, it is. I, I, now, actually, I have my own theory, but I'd like to hear yours. I, I theorize because I, I know you. I've been punched in the face by him as well. Uh, in the gym <laughs> training, you know? Uh I don't even know if you remember. I remember one time he hit me and crushed me, like, in the nose. I was probably just like, you're just like, who's this fucking kid? Fucking hit me with a go one. <laughs> yeah, right? that's like, it woke me up. It was like the smell of sauce. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I ended. So I saw the video. I assume that you were, because I know your heart, that you were kind of looking to protect the crowd. Right. You were right. looking so to that's... be. You're you're a protector by nature, and you were kind of. You probably saw the cops getting a little aggressive. It was crazy. And and it, you know, it, there's people who be like, there's never a time to to like hit a cop. You could never do this. You never do that. We're you know we're taught that in a lot of ways, but. Sure. What if a fucking cop goes in your house and wants to go kill and uh, beat up your family? Yeah, fucking so rapists. They're just people too. Well, you know what I mean. It's better and to I, be judged by twelve than carried by six, for sure. But right. that that is the process, kind of, you know, bearing itself out. Right. What is, is the process bearing itself out? Well, you got to go through when you do punch uh, a, a an agent of the government. The problem now becomes you have to go before yeah, the no, government. I knew, I knew he was fucked at that point. Yeah. I knew, I see, knew but that's where it gets, even, that's where where it gets even crazy in itself because you see an agent of the government, right? Well, mm -hmm. this is a Metro PD officer sure. who is not hired by the government. That is a civilian career. Yeah. So technically, I'm not, I shouldn't have been charged with assaulting federal officers. On a federal... On a federal... That's it doesn't right. matter. They have jurisdiction over the Capitol. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a cop... It wasn't a Capitol police officer. No. So this is what's even more nuts. All about my case, which they never showed... And I never got my evidence and all this other shit. How can they suppress evidence like this in America? It's, it's insane. insane. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. But when I did, was able to see all my shit and speak, um, there's four Capitol officers that were outside of the stoop that they were on and they were locked out. And they're getting fucking pummeled. They're getting shit thrown at them, getting, getting beat up, this, that, the other thing. So I step up. This is 23 minutes before I, I saw this cop. So I step in, I, I, I break it off. I get everybody to fuck off them. I get some water bottles. I'm like, you guys want water? You want water? And they're like, we can't. They got their gas masks on and shit, yeah, you right, know? Right. So they're like, we can't. So the one guy, he said, turns to his other three guys. And now, mind you, they're on this, like, three-step tier. I got the diagram right here at the Capitol. We'll have to show you where they were. But they literally said, can you take us out of here? Can you get us the fuck out of here? And I said, yeah, no problem. Get in a stack formation. They put arm on arm, shoulder on shoulder. I walk them around the front of the Capitol to their like leading officer, whatever he is, like you know, lieutenant or something. He's got a gun on me. Um, they're like, no, 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 you know, wow. giving a he's okay symbol, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. Two of them corroborated the story when they were interviewed. The other two just didn't happen to remember. But 23 minutes later, you know, Metro PD is marching through the crowd and they're they're jacking people up. They're Are jacking, they really? Yeah. So what happened with me, and you don't see on the body cam footage, is that I get assaulted. I got a rib check with the baton. When I turn, and you see my instinct real quick, yeah, I'm talking shit to the cops going through, because I see what they're doing. 
So I'm telling him, are you a fucking American? Act like one. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? What are you doing? And then sure as shit, I get whacked. I get, I take the shot in the ribs. My first reaction is throw the motherfucker, right? So I push him. He goes flying back into other, like, you know, Trump supporters, whatever it is. Other officer comes at me. And he's coming at me aggressive. He's, I put my hand up, said, don't fucking touch me. That's when he smacks my hand down, and I hit him with a, you know, quick jab. Mm. And then after that, that was, that was, that was it, man. That mm. was it. Who, who, who do you feel like escalated the situation to the point of it was a protest, a lot of anger, months, months and months of frustration of being told you need to close your business, of stay in your house, you be obedient, but our guys can go out and march through the streets and riot and nothing can happen. Uh, clearly, and I don't care who you are at this point, you're blind if you don't see it's a two-tiered right. system of justice. It is. It's a membership has perks moment, Soviet style moment, a very dangerous moment. Who escalated? Well, there was in the crowd, no doubt, FBI instigators. Agitators, That's where I'm getting that. You you 100 feel them. that way. You, you can, can see them, them talking in their in their uh, uh, in their scarves, their earpiece, but dressed up in in Trump uh, gear, faces painted, and you'll see where they were strategically placed throughout those lower terraces. The Lower West Terrace, if you look up anything from the Lower West Terrace, you'll see some complete mayhem. Complete mayhem. But it was all leading cattle to the slaughter. Mm. It starts with, you know, Ray Epps at the front at the front gate getting those getting those bike racks down. Then you got the guy with the megaphone that was also involved leading people where to go. You mm. know what I mean? It was mm. it was it was fucking bottleneck death, man. Mm. You know, people got caught up in that that were unarmed had nothing going on. A, a female named Victoria White out of New York, who was represented by uh, uh, Joseph McBride, she had her face completely rearranged. Like, I'm talking, she's getting her face beat in in that terrace, and she's stuck in there with nowhere to go. And you got a lieutenant in a white shirt takes his fucking baton and his eye poking her. I yeah, these are the guys I know, that were... I've seen this evidence because these... guys that I was with that locked up with in D.C., I was able to get my hands on their evidence, and we were doing a timeline of where on your evidence I'm going to look from your your viewpoint, and we're going to find one guy that we think is somebody, right? Now we're going to keep that in mind when I look at his evidence. Now we're going to say, okay, red-faced MAGA guy. Mm. We're going to watch him, and we're going to put a timeline together. So we did that with everybody in there. That's what we, you know, mm. they, they thought they were putting us in with a bunch of dummies. Everybody got together, you know? Yeah. And really started figuring shit out. We were like, this is a lot bigger than we ever thought it was. This, this you believe, was an orchestrated uh, Absolutely. event. Yeah. Now, I, I, I got a hard. question. What, what were, why did you go? Why did you go there that day? I went down there to, voice, to, to just have a voice. I feel like uh, freedom of speech has been so trampled on. Um, I think that's one of the most important things is to have a difference of opinion and be able to voice it. Um, I've been shadow banned suspended, kicked off of all these social media uh, uh, platforms before mm -hmm. before this shit happened. Yeah. yeah, Like, I was, every other fucking week, he'll tell you, I was, they were, nobody's seeing my shit, or I'm getting shut down, or, or this and that. And then, then they're trying to shut down my boxing gym. You know, uh, telling me, I, you know, you can't open up your gym where I got kids that come in that rely on me, that are, you know, nonverbal autistic ah, kids yeah, that yeah. I train, and, you know, people yeah. with special needs that I'm training that need me. But now you're, you're you're letting the corner store stay open and sell you know sell booze all booze, day long you know yeah, because whatever. the government's got a tax on it. Yeah, they get a if part there, of that. If there was a tax on a gym. I'm they sure they don't get a part there. of your right. your boxing gym. Right. Yeah. So that whole shut down your gym shit. I was like, well, I'm not shutting nothing. They down. let the liquor store stay open. Correct. But not the bars because that's when people get together and say we need to do something. About right. This shit. Oh yeah. We'll right. let you take the liquor back to your prison. Right. It, you're you're on house arrest. Go get your booze. Sure. Give us the tax dollars. Go get your cigarettes. You know, and then. Go go comatose in your room, mm -hmm. but not together. Not in the bars talking about throwing well, the team in the harbor. And then when it started hitting Murphy with the whole not being able to work out shit because he's got that soccer team full piece of yeah, shit. Right? Well, it, it's important for people to know what a piece of shit Phil, Phil Murphy is. I really feel like people have forgotten what a piece of shit he is. I I got to tell you, one of the best things I saw maybe in the last ten years was that rat fuck getting booed off of uh, the stage yeah, at, at, yeah. at Red Bank. Yeah, It was the that, first that was time I felt really proud of my fellow New Jerseyans in a very long time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And then, it was, and then that guy from the van was like, don't Oh, Brian Kirk don't, and the jerks. Like, yeah, that's yeah. A lot. And, I, and then my friends, are, I yeah, wrote a post about it. They were like, you know, Brian follows you. I was like, fuck you, Brian. How about that? <laughs> I don't second, tell me he's your friend. Politics that. has nothing to do with this. 
Tell that to people who fucking didn't lose everything, right. you rat right. fuck, right. you piece of shit. A non-essential for yeah. a fucking reason, man. Like, you shut, you can't, like, this is my whole thing about, we did a, we did a funny little video about amnesty. And it's like, everybody just wants to be like, yeah, well, things happened. You mm. know, we both made mistakes. Mm. No, my mistakes no. didn't cost you two years of your fucking life. You right. know, like, no, there, there's not, there, this is not the same thing. You, you bankrupted people. You killed people. Can you imagine the people who were in an abusive relationship, women that were getting beat by their alcoholic husbands, mm. and for two years you forced them to stay inside with nothing but him? What yeah. should happen to you? I think the repercussions are from, from all this bullshit that happened are going to be so lengthy and ongoing for and years. Not and not a single years and years acknowledgement. Gone. That they were wrong and not forget well, an that's apology. Just it. That's forget just an apology. You're not getting that ever. Not a single ever. acknowledgement that. Well, it turns out uh, yeah. we were we were masks we weren't all, we weren't all, arbitrary. We weren't all the way wrong. Yeah. What about the lady <laughs> making fun of it? The CDC woman before she before she uh, the new CDC woman is on camera, being like, uh, so so are you guys doing six feet? I mean, we should do six feet. If you're doing six feet, what's the science? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just call it six feet. Mic. The hot mic moment when they were doing the press conference where she's like, oh, I got to put the mask on. Cameras yeah. are going on. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, dude. It, 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 the, these people deserve, and and it, it pains me. It hurts me. Look, you punch the cop, shit happens. You, you kind of, you, you got to fucking, you did what you did. You got to do what you do. But it fucking kills me that people like you are spending years in jail and these monsters got so wealthy and so powerful mm. off of these crimes against humanity and nothing's ever going to happen to him. Right. Nothing is ever going to happen to Anthony Fauci. Nothing is ever going to happen to Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi. Let's, There's not let's enough talk hammers more in local. Let's talk about Cuomo. I mean, what he did with, 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 with the, the nursing, nursing homes. Nursing homes. Like, yeah. are you fucking kidding me? Well, hey, all it took was a little bit of common sense to realize that is the worst fucking idea well, fuck second, to put him in, second to putting him in a cancer center. Ra Rachel like, Levine. Rachel Levine, the, the admiral of health, uh, our trans admiral of health. Before, the day before, she mandated the nursing home lockdowns. Moved her mother out of a nursing home. <laughs> yeah. No uh, shit. Not surprised. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. That's every every thing, time. They knew all, exactly so, so what they were doing. Yeah. It's all the, 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 the hypocrisy is crazy just because... The whole thing with the with the jab, like uh, you know, my body, my choice. Mm. That shit went out the fucking window. No, now take a needle in your fucking right. arm, or we're gonna persecute you right. again and again and yeah. again and again. And oh, by the way, when people, college age athletes, start dropping fucking dead, now, if you yeah, ask questions, you're LeBron, a LeBron, bigot. LeBron James is awfully quiet about his son dropping. Uh, you know, these things happen all the time. I remember yeah. growing up, nineteen year old athletes had heart attacks all the all, time. All, I don't know about you. You guys have been in time. athletics all your whole life. No, there was a there was a guy who uh, runs a like a funeral par parlor, and he said that he's never seen what he's been seeing now, where all these like young kids are having heart attacks. It's insane. He said the numbers are just like exponential, just like like un never before seen. Well, the thing was too that they were saying uh, uh, co uh, what was it comorbidities? Yeah, pre existing comorbidities was like the big thing. You got to take it for that. Yep. So people with perfect health. Ended up taking it, and then they got fucking, you know, wiped out. I have three family members who have uh, lasting issues from that. I mean, I, it's more, but, like, three who had serious, serious like, issues. Like, yeah. serious issues from mm -hmm. it. Well, my one cousin, I remember him telling me, like, he's like, man, you should get the vax. Like, I'm worried about you. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I just want you to be, like, safe and okay. I'm, and I'm kind of like, I'm worried about you getting it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> when, my, when, like, I, my family member called me and was like, hey, I have to get the vax. I was kind of like... No, like don't like yeah. I'm, I just didn't. You know what I mean? It just didn't seem right. But, but and I've, I've I've watched the way it's played out, and it's been sure. you know three. I've had serious. More have had like, you know I still can't taste right. You know I still mm -hmm. can't smell right. Mm -hmm. You know what drives me out of control is the moral authority, right? Like your cousin's probably a great person, but here you're the healthiest yeah. human being I've ever met in my yeah. life. You don't even fucking you don't eat seed oils. Yeah. You're going to take an injection? Yeah, I'm just going to go take a random injection for like, some shit that I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, I spend a lot of, I put a lot of focus and I, 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 you know, I'm very in touch with my body. I use my, my body's my job. But they yeah, so I, have the moral authority to be like, but I'm, I'm looking out for you. Yeah. As, well, then as, it becomes, as a cheeseburger drips out of so their mouth. It becomes so crazy that it's actually like a, a save a life. Like, you're, it's not about you. It's yeah. not the people around you. It's now. amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. It's, the yeah, moral very, superiority yeah. they took yeah, to the this way they shit put it like on heroin. Like that. It's Come fucking vax, like, vax what about, shame. Yeah, you're selfish. Yeah, you're That's selfish. The moral superiority. What was yeah. that, Mike? The, the thing that didn't make sense to me was 
Well, first off, I mean, we're talking comedy. The biggest parody in the world is the... the I, I can't get it out of my head. Like, it's like a Saturday Night Live skit when de Blasio was eating French fries. And oh, that shit. I, it's like yeah. such a yeah. cringe moment that it hurts me as an American. But also, like, my biggest beef on this, and I'll never forget my doctor when he's like, why won't you take the vaccine? I said, well, if somebody from a science standpoint, a logic standpoint, can explain to me, right? Because all you're hearing on the news is that the, the older people are more infected, immunocompromised, you know, overweight, and the kids are okay. But I'm watching my kids have to go to school every day with a mask on and sit at their desks but at the same time mom and dad can go to a restaurant sit down and eat okay and then put it on and walk to the bathroom That's one of like, jokes. none of it <laughs> made sense to me and i said until somebody could tell me how that makes sense i'm not for it. how can you tell me that the kids are less affected but yet my kids their desks are six feet apart and they're wearing masks all day Mike, these how about the fact that they got caught horrible. trying to, to to give these kids the vax without letting the parents yeah. know oh, that's, they yeah. lined them up at the that school and horrific. said you know hey look you got horrific. we got to get our we got to get our shot it, like horrific. you know fifth graders i mean like it, it's a crime against humanity and, and it's it's so it's just weird the way w one of the reasons right out front that i knew it was it was funky yeah. was when trump was in there and was talking about we're going to have the best vaccine yeah. the vaccine Everybody's like, we're not taking Trump's vaccine. Like all the, like the Democrats, and everything. Yeah, yeah. And right as they get in office, Boom. we got a vaccine, Boom. motherfucker. Come on, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Take it. You have for you. Thank you, Joe Biden. For you, get for the you, get you get a vaccine. You get a vaccine. You get a vaccine. Thirty-nine grand. Thirty-nine grand. Thirty-nine grand. Thirty-nine grand. Thirty-nine grand. Six of them. It's just so crazy that the other two factors for me were booster, 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 booster. Financial motivation. Like they were incentivizing hospitals. Perverse incentives. Yeah. Somebody because of COVID, they were getting ten thousand dollars. No, no, no. Or the, the eighteen thousand. Okay, well, that was for the uh, defibrillator, wasn't it? Thirty-nine thousand for it's, the. It's insane. Thirty-nine thousand for the. Uh, yeah, the G ventilator. got his well, numbers. I got, huh? I got one last thing, and then I'm gonna segue out of this. But Tony Robbins, who I consider pretty smart, right? And I was watching something with him, and he was showing a study. Like numbers don't lie, right? So all of a sudden, for the first time in the history of the world, heart disease was cured, right? Yeah. So don't quote me to the numbers, but let's say if there was like a hundred thousand deaths due to heart disease, yeah, sure. that graph chart, all the numbers stayed the same except for right. like let's say heart disease was down to ten percent, and now there's COVID. Well, listen, and, so and nobody the got the and nobody got the flu. Well, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah if, right. If, weird, weird how the flu. If we're going to influenza is no longer existing. That's a great point, boys. If we're going to hate on COVID. COVID. We should also give it its flowers. COVID solved the flu. Yeah. COVID got rid of cancer. <laughs> COVID ended sense. terrorism. <clears throat> There's no more terrorists. Isn't that phenomenal that all of these suicide bombers decided, I don't know, it's a little sick outside. We got to stop. Like, everybody in America is going to a Costco or Walmart. Oh, I'm sorry. We definitely I, shouldn't are, blow are, up are one of those. Unless you want to lose a, a, a domestic oh, yeah. terrorist? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Someone yeah. who wanted to just fucking uh, speak on it's how true. they feel? He yeah. kept, he, when he was coming in here, he kept saying, what was it he kept saying? He kept saying, uh, uh, saying something like, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Uh, Akbar. Yeah. I don't even know what that yeah. means. Death to America. Yeah. Well, I knew what that meant. Yeah, I knew death to America. Yeah. So what? So how did you make those pipe bombs that you left inert around? the capital that's fucking nuts Was that hobby that's, lobby? Not, that's or... nuts in itself too like all the technology that they have they were able to facial recognition find everybody that was in that crowd and they're still locking people up right mm -hmm. so they're still picking people up but they can't find a dude that walked up and planted those pipe bombs outside the Bro, there was Republican, pallets Republican of Republican bricks oh, yeah. huh. pallets <laughs> of bricks along the protest march line there was entire u-hauls of shields and batons for protests. Who financed this shit? George Where'd George all this Soros. money come from? <laughs> George Soros. Yeah. This is an insane. Like this is an and his insanely wobble, his little fucking weeble wobble son. Oh, dude, the Alex, pilots wild. I saw, which Alex, was crazy too. Man, Somebody please. was video in the pilots. They were they were they were just literally putting bricks in yeah. the middle of the street, nice and neat, yeah. like so people could loot. That I was mean, actually was, one of the things I got to give Roger Stone a lot of credit for in our conversation with Roger Stone because we brought up the vaccine. We we're like, Trump is still running this vaccine. You got to tell him to stop. And he he was like, No, blah blah. And then we were like, Bro. You gotta tell them this stuff. Yeah. And he's like, well, that's, that's Jared Kushner. Like, you know, Jared, yeah. you know. Well, like, they, they say that a lot about Kushner. He you know, hates that, Kushner, he, man. Yeah. And a lot of the, the top leading guys in Trump's circle know that. They know that. I don't think you're gonna see much much of him this time around. That's what that's what Stone was saying, right? Yeah. I don't think you're gonna see right. I, I think you're gonna see I, him I take can't, a backseat. I can't see a world that the the whatever you want to call it, the deep state cabal, whatever you want to call it, the, or as Putin says, the men in dark suits. Yeah. I, I can't see them letting him in again. It, it'd be a pipe bomb to everything that they've worked towards. They put you guys in jail for the rest of us plebeians to know what's what. Oh yeah, yeah you, you're doubt. in jail so that if we all decide, hey, enough's enough. Hey, well, look what happened to him. Oh, they'll look what happened to him. They'll come and grab anybody. 
Yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, the 80, 80, I got a feeling the 87,000 IRS agents aren't going to be banging down same bank yeah, Friedman's door, you know? Like, 87,000 IRS agents are, are not... They're not going after the 14 billionaires left in America. They're going to be coming after yeah. everybody, everybody, that was, everybody, everybody, everybody who was... Everybody doesn't stick to the script. Everybody who doesn't do as they're told. They're just not a sheep and staying in line no, and you know, thinking for themselves. Big time. Big time. Yeah, it's a fucking problem, man. It's a problem. That's why it's... You are, know, you, are you a big Trump guy? Not. It's, it's not that I'm a big Trump guy. I just like the fact that he says what's on his fucking mind. He's all about freedom of speech. That's, that's see, huge. That's he huge does seem like he cares about America a lot right. more than... You know, right. Well, that position. And I'm with that. And, and, you know, his support of the troops. Um, Look, when he was running and he was in office, everything was running like a fucking it was beautiful. Yeah. It was like a well-oiled machine. You know, Biden got a a turnkey presidency. Your country's running on all cylinders. And literally one of the great things that I heard said was um, if you were Joe Biden and you wanted to destroy America, what would you have done differently? Yeah. Nothing. That's a good point. It's absolutely fucking nothing. If yeah. you look at, if you really take take a step back and you look at like, the the simplicity of it all, right? Fentanyl, China, fentanyl's coming from China, right? Where's it going? Through the southern border, right? Sure. So what did he do? He's he's so deep. China's so deep in Biden's pockets, right? Mm-hmm. That he they got him. They got him right now. So he can't do anything with the fentanyl shit coming from China because they're gonna say, well, look, motherfucker, we got you here, right? Sure. With that being said. Why did he open up the border? Why hasn't that? Why haven't they been to the fucking border? Why haven't they stopped this? Because they want it coming in. And who's bringing it in? The cartels, the Mexicans, all this other shit. On top of them getting getting votes, the votes are more important. The, I think they, I agree, I, I but think I think the, if you cut that off, I think the idea like the human trafficking and the fentanyl and all that stuff, they see that as you got to break a couple eggs to make an omelet. What they need is to turn the red southern border purple. And in order to do that, they have what does that mean? The red southern border purple. Sure. So what what we have? Was that like put some blue, more blue in there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so what secondary we have? Colors. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> secondary the secondary <laughs> pinwheel. Yeah. So what we kind Violet. of have? Violet. It, um, and I talked about this with Dan Holloway on the the Drinking Bros podcast. Anybody listening to this, if you're enjoying this conversation, check out Drinking Bros. They're fantastic. I love them. But the what we're having right now is, is what what he calls. Um, uh, natural split tribalization. So, like, there's this idea where, and unfortunately, he believes, and he's a military historian. Like, he's he's a brilliant dude. He was a special forces guy, and this is all unfortunately a preamble to conflict. So, what happens is Phil Murphy, for example, right? He won re- re-election in New Jersey by I think like fifty thousand votes, mm. and there was still some conversation about iffy shit happening, late ballots in Bergen or whatever. But over his first four years. There was like 800,000 people that left the state. How many of those 800,000 people would have voted against Phil Murphy? You got to figure at least 700, yeah. right? Yeah. So this guy wins by 500 by 50,000 votes, forgive me. 800,000 people left. So he is his power is solidified by making harsher laws against people so that by we making all, it shittier. So we leave. Right. So he makes it. And he shittier. said that if you don't like this, New Jersey's not for you. He Go told ahead. you, like you know what I mean. I he that. did. You don't like New you don't Jersey, like paying taxes. Can you Get out of here. If yeah, if high taxes are an issue for you, Jersey's not your state. Mm. Oh well, fuck me, huh? I just live here. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. I guess. Okay. Aren't you from Massachusetts? If you don't like getting piece shook of down, shit, right. then you probably should leave here. Yeah. Hey, if you don't like getting As punched in your face, this his, is not the, yeah, his twenty like bedroom house in fucking Italy or something. Yeah. And with 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 actual white Tommy and I. Tommy and I. Yeah, Tommy. 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 Yeah, as he's face down yeah, drunk at Bar Tommy Nicholas on 35. Really. Any public statement on Twitter, but I was like, Tommy and I. With those giant horse yeah. teeth. I hate uh, that motherfucker. Tommy he's a, I, I, I referred to him as a red hot dick pimple. <laughs> <laughs> um, how does one come to acquire the knowledge of what a red hot dick pimple looks like? I'm not saying I've ever had one. Ah, okay. Well. He's not saying he's not. He's not all I'm saying is that look, if, you, if I were to have one, that's what it would look like. <laughs> Yeah, so they did the same thing in in Michigan. She won re-election despite having like a thirty two percent approval rating. They did it here in New York. So these places, everybody's leaving California. Every, so these places are becoming darker red and darker blue. So if there was an influx of conservatives or libertarians, even trying to escape Trudeau's communist Canada, every Democrat in the world would want to wall across the north. Because then they turn the blue states north, 
the Michigans, the Wisconsins, the Ohios, they would turn them red. But instead, they have, but where they're fucking up is, is they're old. And they just, and they're pretty racist, these, these people, even though they act like they're not. So they see brown people and they're like, well, they're clearly going to vote for us. But you got hard workers yeah. that are family oriented. The family that are, oriented, that are Christian, yeah. That are Christian and don't want to deal with any Latin X bullshit. One generation in, all these Latinos are going red. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden it's becoming a problem. So they're letting these people in. So why is the border being opened as well? Because now some Republicans are going, hey, maybe we should let these guys in. Yeah. So now they're having a political battle over what to do while, like you said, human trafficking is happening, while fentanyl is being let through. You know, while I, the human trafficking bothers me more than the fentanyl, frankly. Agreed. Um, you know, if, if you're if you're doing drugs right now, man, with Trank and fentanyl, God bless you. That's right. a decision you're making, right? But the human trafficking is tough. And then the, the if well, there's tough, because there are, tough, there's no choice. Tough. tough? That's tough, yeah. man. That's a tough. That's worse than tough. You, you got it's hard maybe to a better word than that. It's hard to it's even fucking deplorable. It's fucking evil. It's it's, it's yeah. evil. It's, it's the worst. It's the it worst. Be no not, shit it on the fucking earth. Stopped, but it could no. be slow. No, those motherfuckers no are being fucking of why they're opening it's, the borders. That's got shit. Makes no, no that sense. Shit yeah. me off the most. When you're when you're involving, you know, uh, uh, children, or even a little bit older in that situation where somebody doesn't have a choice and you're forcing them yeah. upon the something like if you want to use drugs knowing that there's fentanyl in it, well, fucking go ahead. Just don't. You know, have it affect anybody else. But when you're dealing with like, you're literally trafficking, you know, people against their will. Yeah, that's terrific. I mean, there's there's a lot going on. Those now, are right? those are the lucky ones. The ones getting trafficked are the lucky ones. That's how bad it is. Yeah. The other ones that are getting harvested, that's where it gets really fucked, man. Really, really fucked. You know, um, and and the unfortunate. You're saying like body parts and shit, like they're taking their. What like eyeballs and uh, how, how how deep do you want to get into it? I don't know. I mean, ba talk talk about how how you know this is true. Number one, mm -hmm. and and you well, know, talk I've about never what seen you, it. So everything think. that I know is anecdotal. It's things that I've read. It's official reports. So take that uh, with whatever grain of salt. And then there's people that I've talked with that were border patrol and then left because of how fucked the situation was. We'll get Derek. Derek is an unbelievable guy. We'll get him on the pod soon. Uh, and other guys that have worked homeland and special forces that have that have talked to me, and the they're <sighs> see if you can pull this up. Um, you know, you know what? When we when we, I, I'll look for it. You guys, you guys talk. I, so, you talk. Uh, we're ta phone. talking Shit. to you. So there is a video. See if you can pull this up, Natalie. There's a video of these two white dudes trying to convince these African women for five grand to let them impregnate them. And then take the baby and sell the baby off for parts. And the and the African ladies are going, I don't understand. What are you saying? And these guys are drinking, going like, listen, I think your genetics are perfect. It's going to be great. So we'll have a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of fun getting you pregnant. It'll be great. You know, and then I will take the baby. And then, uh, you know, that baby should be worth, I don't know, 50, 60 grand. And then we'll do it all again. And then, you know, I'll pay you five grand. Now he's going to want to outbid me. And they, he, he's having this conversation with these women. Like it's about, completely normal too, which is com like so fucked up. Yeah, they're just talking about like yeah. you're talking about a marketplace where technology is exceeding ethics, right? Where they know for a fact they can you can you can have heart replacements right now. You can have lung replacements. You can have eye replacements. You can have skin grafts. We can do this technology already that we know about. But where do you get these things? You're not taking them from cadavers. You're not taking right, dead right. skin cells. Who's who's donating living organs? They need them. So where are these people getting these organs in China? We already know that they do it to the Uyghurs. We know that they harvest the Uyghurs. I mean, that, I don't know what a Uyghur is. A Uyghur are basically Muslims in northern China that refuse to um, <clears throat> obey. The, the Chinese communist kind of totalitarian government, so they're they're in their own colony, camp, yeah, they have the camp. and they're essentially slaves. Okay, you know, they those those are a lot of the people that make you know, uh, Colin Kaepernick social justice gear by you know under threat of death. Mm. So, listen, all this stuff happens in America, and we're like talking about all this shit in America, but it doesn't really happen here. Like it, like mm. unless the wild shit. If you want to get really crazy. There's some conspiracies that the Kali cartel actually 
helped buy the Arizona election. That they are behind a lot of the harvesting in the Arizona election. Yeah. And if you're talking about like complete decay of America, not we used to we used to end the cartels. Now the cartels are influencing our elections here. If you like I love what you said before. If you were going to destroy it, what would you do differently? Yeah. What would you do that differently? Was, that was actually a really good statement. Uh, absolutely nothing, you know? Yeah, I, I think what happens is you guys are fighters. Mickey's a fighter, you're a fighter, you're a fighter. A lot of people aren't fighters. A lot of people are like, man, just leave me alone. This world's getting crazy scary. Access to all this information. We always used to hear about these things, but it was easy yeah. to be like, oh, those are crazy conspiracies. Now as the conspiracies get harder and harder to deny, there's this great feeling of helplessness. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? What do I do? Here's a big, strong, tough guy. You actually got activated. You were like, no, I'm going to have my voice heard. I'm going to stand and be counted. Two years of your life, gone. Mm. They made an example out of you. They made an example out of everybody set else. Out to be that, which is pretty important to know, because obviously, like Mickey was saying, Scott's a great guy. Like mm -hmm. honestly, and uh, I have to bring this part up. A huge supporter of law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Like you walk into Scott's gym, he has the patches from law enforcement departments all over the world um, on his wall. He was training SWAT team. I mean, like for free. I mean, you know, family of of law enforcement. So it's not like. He's portrayed as this like big bad wolf that went and assaulted an officer. Like to even look at that little sliver in a snapshot of his life of support of law enforcement, mm -hmm. it's just such an unfor unfortunate thing. Because I mean, we even spoke that day. Like nothing was planned for any of that, right? Like mm -hmm. we were having conversations even when he was there, and you couldn't comprehend it at the time. And he's like, "Oh my God, they're going into the Capitol!" And then I put on TV, and you actually see it. And I'm on the phone with him. Like like it was just. Odd the way it happened, like mm -hmm. they, they portray it as if it was like a planned thing or Trump sent them or like you were on the ground. So I don't want to misspeak, but it just nothing made sense. Yeah, nothing, yeah. nothing made sense. Well, that's just it. It wasn't it wasn't uh, planned. I remember when he, Trump said during his speech, he, he had said, uh, you know, we're going to walk down there and peacefully protest. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Sounds good. So, you know, I walked out. I had like a hot dog or a pretzel or something on the way. Mm -hmm. Walked down there. But what was crazy about it was the more... The closer you got to the Capitol, right? So, like, a, you were on the grass, and there was, like, there were so many levels of intensity to where it was, like, that's the fucking ring right there, right? But out here, you're, like, you're, like, on the ticket line, you know, on the grass. When you first get through those, like, the barricades that are now open, mm. because it was happening before we went down there. So, when you start going up the hill, you're, like, oh, all right, cool, yeah, all right, that looks good. Then you're getting closer and closer, and then all of a sudden you hear like a fucking cannon going off and they're lobbing flashbangs in the fucking crowd where people are completely unarmed hmm. and they're tossing, you know, flashbang this, flashbang that. You're, you know, I took, you know, I was like, hell no, I can't sit around. Uh -huh. You know, it was like, like a moth to a flame, you know, hmm. like Mel Gibson when he starts running in the Patriot. That's, that's what I did. Scott, what, what was the jump off moment that made people actually enter the Capitol? Like, was it, a moment or an event that like sparked everybody to try to like go inside. Cause I got to imagine when you first went there, like you're saying it wasn't that, like what was the moment that like sparked it? What was the match? I, I it's hard for me to speak on every location of where they, you know, wh where the shit went down, but like where I was, I, it was almost like because they were trying to, because they were so physical and holding off like a, an area that it was like because they were so physical about it, and it was almost like now we got to fucking take it. That's what that's how it, it, it seemed, and that's how it came off, and that was the result. But I mean, there was uh, it, it became they completely lost control. One, and then you ever, believe they were undermanned, and then they should have been more one million, manned to one, know. Obviously. One million percent. Who's they? The, the Capitol. Yeah, Capitol, Capitol Police. Well, there, there was a request for more Capitol 10, Police. Ten thousand. Yeah. There was a request for ten thousand. National Guard troops yeah. by Trump mm -hmm. in a handwritten fucking response from yeah. Muriel Bowser, sure. who's another piece of shit, mm -hmm. mayor, mayor of D.C. Of DC. She, uh, she had a handwritten response to it and denied him along with Pelosi. Well, that's not new. And RFK... Everybody knew this. RFK Jr., who's running for president as a Democrat, whose father and uncle, and uncle. were mm. both assassinated, right. had a 60-day request for Secret Service, and after 59 days, they said, nah, you're good. You're good. You don't need Secret Service. Yeah. You're just running for president of the United States. You're good. He's got balls, man. Dude, he's got he's balls. He's got brass balls. Yeah, like he's a got baby. balls. I don't your father care if you and your uncle. His, I, don't, I don't care if you agree with his politics or not. Like, you said something great about Trump earlier. Like, politics aside, I believe he does care about America. 
Right. I feel the same I, way I believe, about RFK. I believe, and you know, you know me. I'm not very political. I, you know, I, I, I think you can kind of see what what's what for the most part. I, but I think that guy is a winner. And RFK wants to, or Trump? Oh, Trump. Trump oh. is a winner. He wants to win. So if he want, if he's gonna get in there and do it, he wants to do the best job for the country. Mm -hmm. He wants to be. I want to be the best. Legacy. He wants guy. to be the best president. Yep. You know what I mean? I he agree. wants to do the best for the people. Yeah. At, at least, like I'll tell you, I don't, I don't, I don't know how he is as a guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not a big like Trump, Trump guy, but I, I think he's better than the opposition, than mm -hmm. the alternative. What, what makes that great, and I'm piggybacking off what you said, is, is the fact that like, so he becomes president, right? Mm -hmm. And he looks at us as like this is his country, right? And everything that he's ever done has to be fucking awesome, yeah, right? Exactly. So it's like you know that he's not gonna, you know. I yeah, just feel like he, he's not going to sell us out. He's not right. going to, you know, t take like a, a cheaper route. He's going to try and get try and get the best. Yeah, he taxed and everybody. The, uh, the tariffs. He's in the Middle out. East, but I'm saying like it would brought industry powerful. back to America, like things that you know are good for our country. Literally, what did he do though that they went after him the way that they've never gone after any president in my lifetime? Got us out of the Paris Accord. Got us. Mm. Got NATO to pay their bills. Got us out of the WHO. The WHO the is huge. The free money train for the rest of the world ended. Ends now. He was like, it ends, ends now. And the rest of the world was like, hey, CIA, the fuck is going on here? Mm. Are you guys going to do something about this? Or like, what's going on? Where's our hundreds of billions of dollars? Uh, Where is it? And the first thing, the first thing when Biden came back in, unity. Remember, this is after two years of wear a mask if it saves one life. Wear a mask. If it saves one life, stay inside. Wear a mask. Take your shots. If it saves one life. Oh, um, by the way, COVID's over. We're at war with Russia. So, yeah, yeah we don't give all that money to Ukraine. So, yeah, thank you for saving load. the lives. Yeah. We're going to go bomb the shit out of Europe now. Is that cool? We're, everyone's cool with that, right? Everyone's on board. Anyway, see ya. Yeah. I kind of feel with you, Scott. It's like you're like kind of, you're like you're a patriot. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're a patriot. You're, you're, the fact that you're you were patriotic is the reason why you kind of went down there, wanted to stand up for, you know, your ideals and your beliefs. You know, seeing the way shit's changing, oh. and wanting to stand up and you know give a voice to what you believe in, and all you motherfuckers just got railroaded. Oh, without a doubt. You know, D.C. was fucking brutal. Like D.C. jail, make no fucking joke about it. That was brutal. They, I mean, I had my, I had my door popped. I was fighting guards. Like it's it's. It's fucking broke. You mean how your door popped? So they every in night, your room? so every uh, we started what was uh, the national anthem every night at nine o'clock. Um, everybody in there. It's a big morale morale lifter. Gets everybody going because for so long we were locked down doing 23, 23 and ones, twenty three and a half and half. Holy shit! Where you're, you know you're. Well, we're doing that at three. Sometimes we're doing that three days at a clip where we're just locked down and not getting out at all. And then you'll get out for a half hour shower. They would treat you to better. Use the they phone would have treated quick. you better if you were in Gitmo. Without a doubt, without a doubt, what was happening to us was fucking incredible. Are you are are you looking to to, to lawyer up about that? I've already. Uh, it goes so deep. Yeah. Um. With you know, I also being in there with cancer. Um. Oh, you, I was, got, you have cancer. Yeah, I've had leukemia since 2010. Wow. So I take chemo daily. Still do. You're huge for having leukemia. What were you like before leukemia? Jesus Christ, you're like 400 pounds. What? <laughs> My God. Just got to keep it moving, man. You know, you can't. Bless uh, you, bro. Yeah, no doubt, you can't. You can't. It's not uh, contagious, is it? <laughs> <laughs> just got. Just gave you some of that, huh? Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, whatever, kind nice. Of, whatever kind of whatever kind of fucking nice. cancer he's got, yeah. you take a little bit. Uh, of that, that's right? what I said. I'm the, I'm the take first a little guy. bit of that. Yeah. yeah. For one summer, just. Well, that's what I said. I was like, well, if you put a mask on, you'll be all right. Yeah, as long as I put a mask on, I just mask up, three boosters, and I'll be fine with the leukemia. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's DC was rough. I was in DC. I was in Philly. I was in Hudson County, um, and then I did uh, my prison time in North Carolina. Wow. How, how do you feel about America after this experience? I mean, I still love my country. I mean, my beliefs are still the same. All they did was make me stronger. All they did was make me more of Reinforce a... Reinforce uh, what you already believe. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, if you don't have a strong fucking mind, like, we talk about, like, little things in life, like, you know, little... Things that happen or a loss of a family member and shit like that where you really got to dig in and, and find out who you are. Like stepping up to the plate after you lose your father maybe or something, right? Right, right. In this situation where you're by your fucking self, right? And it's like, you, you know, they say like, uh, uh, you know, look in the mirror. 
well, my fucking mirror, you couldn't see at him. You know, it's all scratched up. It's, you know, it just looks like a piece of gray fucking, you know, steel, whatever. Um, so in order to really evaluate myself, I had to really go into myself as a person, into my heart and find out who I really was. And I found that I couldn't fuck, I couldn't fucking do it anymore. You know, I'm going to be, I'm 46 now, right? So I've been running hard for 46 years. Hard. Real hard. I know, Scott, <laughs> in and out of the gym, hard. Yeah. I, I mean, I've just been, you know, running real fast. And it was a way that I feel like this was all part of God's intervention for me. Without a doubt, this is what was supposed to happen. There's a reason why I got up at 3.30 in the morning by myself and drove to D.C. I wasn't part of those fucking Proud Boys or any of them. None of the caravans? None of them clowns. I don't, I don't like them guys. I don't deal with them guys. Mm -hmm. My shit, I went there because... This is what it is. This is what I stand for. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Mm -hmm. That's my outlook. what what, so what, do you, what, do mean, what do you stand what do you stand for that you wanted to go good, there and and uh represent? What when you say this is the what small, I stand the for? The small what? the small business owner that was shut down that was told that he was, you know, a non-essential business. How the fuck are you going to tell me that my my business, what I the money that I make that provides for me yeah. or yeah, those around me? Not important. It's not important. Yeah, not important. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. G, so show exactly. that to the camera too, even yeah, though I'm sure the camera's seen it plenty. No, not essential. You can never forget that. That was the most. That that was the most. I see you're wearing your shirts the way I wear them too. A little, it's a little extra open. It's a little huh? hot, yeah. I see you get letting that little taco meat out. I've been moving the hands a little bit. I've been moving around. Oh, 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 good there. Okay, okay, okay. Slow it down. Talking to a Pan Am champion. Great. Yeah. The the idea of what america is and what america means there it, it's been a heartbreaking two years three years for anybody that really believed in what this country was founded on and supposed to stand for it, it's been heartbreaking to see the the institutional capture what's happened mm. to our government what's happened to our our institutions of faith our our educational institutions uh and really it comes down to 20 years ago, the Patriot Act people, we fell asleep at the wheel. Yeah. Late 90s, early 2000s, we were still kind of partying, I think, from this yeah, whole, things like... things were good. Things were so good. Things were so good. The Soviet Union had, fa had fallen. America was, was victorious after what was really a century of war. Right. right. When you really think about it, World War I, 1910-ish, all that stuff starts, right? We get in around 1919. You got World War II in the 30s, you got Korea, you got Vietnam, you got the Cold War. Now here we are, late 80s, 90s, Pax Americana. It's peace, there's prosperity, everything's good. And then, boom, the back door. They snuck in through the back door. They realized What they realized so was... 9-11 was then what led to the Patriot Act, right? Little before that, Clinton, Clinton took a lot of money from China. A shitload of money from China. And I think what China was sitting in the weeds, and there's a book called The Hundred Year War, which is really fantastic. And China was sitting in the weeds kind of looking at what happened with Russia. And they said, we can't beat them at their game. But what we can do is use what, they're, what is great about them is their weakness. Their diversity is their weakness. Their marketplace is their weakness. What makes them great is how we can beat them. Mm. They're for sale. They're for sale. Just buy them. Buy them. Take all their debt. What's crazy, in retrospect, when people write books about this shit 500 years from now, it's our debt that paid to beat us. We bought our own demise, if it happens, through our student loans, through our credit cards, through our mortgages. China bought all that debt. We've been paying interest. One third of every dollar in taxes that goes out today is just to service interest on old debt. One third. It's, you, couldn't, you couldn't run a house like that. If you guys are business guys, you go out of business like that. Mm -hmm. If every one out of every $3 you took in was just to pay off your debt before you even had to take on new debt, you couldn't do that, right? So what China realizes, man, you know what? And this is what's the crazy part about the Hunter Biden stuff to me is, man, how fucking cheap it is to buy one of these guys. It's crazy. $10 yeah. million dollars to buy the vice president of the United States? You can't get a third baseman on the Yankees for that amount of money. <laughs> you know what I'm like? It's insane how yeah. cheap it is to buy these guys. They're like, yeah, what do you need? 
You need the, well, you need us to get rid of a prosecutor? What do you need? You need this guy in Libya gun? How, now, how do we talk fall, to the big how guy do we fall asleep at the huh? wheel? We're going to talk to the big guy. Yeah, the big guys. How, the big guy. how do we fall asleep at the wheel? Uh, man, that's a great question. And, and first we got to like, when you say fall asleep at the wheel and you say we, who are you talking about? You're talking about a, the people? Like, that's the better question. That's the better question. Yeah, I do. I believe it was us. I believe it was us. Um, after 9-11, you know, we were so gung-ho and a lot of it was fear it's fear based and i think i think what they did with covid came back to 9-11 like the fear. the fear look at what they look at what they gave up go if anybody ever actually nobody does which is the crazy thing go back and read the patriot act look at what we gave up the patriot act for all intents and purposes not to make shit like way too fucking simplistic but it basically goes uh yeah that constitution the bill of rights yeah fuck Gone. it fuck Gone. it yeah, that's nonsense. That enabled them to just basically the whole start of Big Brother. Big time. Every bit of Big it. Big time. And yeah. Snowden and Assange are the ones that came out and showed us this happened. Yeah. And what happened to Snowden and Assange? Railroaded. Mm. Gone. Yeah, done. So Silenced now we have, yeah. off. Now we have exactly. a quarter century in America. This is not a small amount of time. 25 years we're coming up on where the people who expose the government corruption go to jail. Not the corrupt government. Not the corrupt, yeah. Very dangerous. Very dangerous place to be. Do you believe, Gerard, that, that, that they're working towards a new world order? Or yes. One policy? And one, I, they're so, not... What are you talking about? Uh, they, they're, not, they're not quiet about it. They're not quiet about it. I'm saying, do you it. believe that that's the trajectory where everything's ultimately heading? Like one total... Total... Total, totalitarian? Totalitarian. It's a real tongue twister. Uh, sure. Total, 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 uh, yeah. Sure. Don't put that on the... On the <laughs> no. Totalitarian. Totalitarian. Uh, you say it. Mickey's so good at totalitarian. saying it. Totalitarian. Got to go around the room. Totalitarian. Yeah. For the win. Try. Yeah. I heard him say it first off. I, 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 I read off of Mickey. I was like, how's he saying it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just... just yeah. They, they want global federalism. Yeah. They do. You know, they, these are like the everything. WEF government. and the yeah. So these things called NGOs, NGOs. non-government organizations. So no one votes them in. No one votes them in. They they they're assigning themselves or buying their way in. That's the idea. They hate democracy. Why should I listen? Yeah. Why should I listen to these peasants? If they were smart, they'd have a billion dollars like me, right? And now you get these fifty billionaires in a room together, and then you get these scientists who are paid by these billionaires, and they're saying these peasants. Are going to ruin this world for you. They're going to eat all the food with your resources. Going to breathe all the air with your resources. You can live to be 400, 500 years old. We'll get you new lungs. We'll get you new eyeballs. Don't ask where <laughs> they come from. All right, but you just got to make sure that these peasants and there eight billion of them and eight billion of them. There's going to be sixteen billion of yeah, them. Yeah, we'll give them Netflix and a fucking That's right. comfy sheet. Make sure that they don't ruin your water. Some, yeah. some, well, that gets to the drinks. overpopulation theory. I mean, it makes it make well, sense. We're nowhere near overpopulation. No, but I'm saying that's what makes it make sense if they want to trim the population. Yeah, for themselves saying, because yeah. they think that there there is this anxiety from the wealthy, the ultra wealthy, that they are going to have the capability for almost eternal longevity. But that will ruin it for him. When you hear Gates talk about shit like that, it's fucking creepy. Yeah. yeah That's one creepy dude. It's when the guy goes, the problem with Gates is when he goes, well, what's the number one problem in the world? Overpopulation. Okay, right. cool. So what are you working on, Bill? Oh, just a whole lot of vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, we got to get rid of this malaria over thing, here, guys. Just po- over here just polishing the vaccine. Yeah, so, yeah, just, yeah, you know, so hey, well, conjure. those things aren't connected. What are you, no. what are you nuts? No. That's not, that, oh, me? That, sound, that sounded like racism. <laughs> just over here hanging out. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> you know. Hey, so uh, what now? What are you doing with the whole? Yeah, I mean. They they, they 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 tell you what they're looking to do, man. I mean, they're really not shy about it. They're not shy about it. That's what's you know when they, when they come out in the World Economic Forum and, and he brags oh, about we've got people in every cabinet in America. We got all over the world. There's nothing but young global leaders in government. It's like fuck. Mm. They, they, dude, they did it. Fucking vast. They're spitting. The they're, they're, they're not only are they doing it, they're doing it, and then they're looking you yeah. in the face and spitting in your yeah. eyeball. Yeah, and they and they're laughing, saying no one's gonna think it's real or pay attention and turn their back until the conspiracy. Well, that's the thing. Like you know, they're throwing it in your yeah. face, like you're a conspiracy theorist, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, I was. Now I'm just accurate. Now, now, now <laughs> yeah. Now I'm just <laughs> what are you right. Talking about now I'm just yeah. right. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, are you not? Uh, wait, are you? Wait, time out. But, not, are you, but I'm a fact checker. Are you believing everything they're telling you? They yeah. gotta hate social media then, because <laughs> years ago it must have been great for them to just operate and it's so nobody funny, knows like, anything. The guys that were like news. debunking shit, right? Like the guy that yeah. debunked like the, the 
debunked the Pizzagate story, right? Mm-hmm. Like that dude just gets picked up on like pedo charges and child pedophilia. Weird. Yeah. How about the yeah. guy that invented the water car? Have you ever see that story? <laughs> no. That we don't need gasoline. Yeah, and yeah, he invented yeah, yeah, a car yeah. that runs on water, and yeah. then all of a sudden he died. Yep. And yeah. then the patent and everything else is gone, Whoops. and never talked yeah. about again. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah. 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 Well, it's the yeah, same thing back. with Tesla, right? Like te- all, Tesla had all these cabinets of his diagrams mm. and all this stuff for like free. Tesla was working on free Wi-Fi. Free, like, yeah. yeah. And uh, he dies, and his family goes to pick up his stuff, and they're like, oh, here, he left you this. And they're like, well, where's all of his stuff? And they're like, oh, he was really poor. He had nothing. <laughs> he had yeah. nothing. Yeah, this is all he has. It's yours. Yeah. Here's his pet he rock. He just loved the yeah. bird. Yeah, he was really. <laughs> he loved the bird. That's, That's it. pretty much it. I can Here you go. The, I can leave you the bird. Do you want that? Bird's name was Jonathan. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I feel like Tesla had a lot of stuff. Nah. 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 You're wrong. Anyway. You're wrong. Nah. Yeah, I mean, dude, th- this is, if Trump did anything right, and he, I think he did a few things right, a few things wrong, but if he did anything more right than others, for the rest of us that kind of had this feeling, like, man, I feel like something's wrong here. He fucking took the lid off and goes, look at all this shit, guys. Look at all this. It's like you can see, like, a termite under the house, but it's like, you know, you can, like, let it go. It's like, uh, is that a termite? Oh, probably not. It's just an ant or whatever. And then, like, you know, Boom, there's your a big nest. brother comes over and he's like, hey, are you going to do something about this? Nah, it's fine. Rips it off. Ah, yeah. that's a fucking, that's, a, wow, that's bad. Mm. That's really bad. Yeah, Trump was using terms that we didn't know what they meant at the time, like drain the swamp and, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, the DC Did he drain the swamp? No, that's a big problem. That's my biggest problem with him. I think because he's got so much in his own party. Like, let's not forget, man, there's fucking rhino Republicans like Mitch McConnell Mm -hmm. that have done absolutely nothing. What's the term rhino Republican mean? It's Republican uh, in name only. Okay. Yeah, it's like what the hardcore guys call, like, people that are, you know, Okay. Moderate. He's just he just got booed See, off the stage. I, I like, wouldn't think I wouldn't think McConnell's that dude a, who froze a up? rhino. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just yeah, think yeah. he's part of the unit party, man. He's just one of them. There's a very, very, when very, he, very, when, very, when he donated to that, uh, uh, to the Democratic, uh, uh, um, Lindsey Graham. No, but to the uh, in, in Arizona or was yeah. it Michigan? I think it was Michigan, mm-hmm. to the Democratic nominee, he withdrew his money from the Republican nominee and put it towards the Democratic nominee. There's a but now, why couldn't, why couldn't Trump go after these guys? He has. So, Trump he, wasn't in office Trump's when this was Trump's kind of an, an outsider. A lot of them are elected. But, you know, I said drain the swamp. Elected it for right. No, oh, he said drain the swamp. Why, why, do you, why do you guys think he didn't drain the, the, the swamp? The swamp is not Mitch McConnell. He's kind of it. The swamp is the 25 Because I feel year. like one of the good things about Trump is at least he's different than these politicians who are just like in the system, yeah. been in the system, a part of the system. That's he's it. like an outsider yeah. who can actually come in and clean this shit up and yeah. make a difference. Well, I think he was on a roll. I think he was on a roll and I think he was getting there. I think, I think he was on a roll and he was getting there and I think a lot of shit was happening. I don't know. And uh, that's when it was just like, all right, whatever we do, we got to get rid of this guy. I think it's They're easy. coming after it's, him pretty hard now, huh? Well, Was he on his filed, third indictment? Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, they're, that's they're in D.C. That's, that's for uh, for January Natalie, 6th. Natalie, pull up uh, Chuck Schumer talking about the CIA, Trump going after the CIA. This, this will honestly tell you all you need to know about it, where this was the moment Schumer told the world that Trump was done. And he, and he, let, okay. he let the, what do they say? He let the, the inside words out. You know, he, he said yeah, the quiet, said, part, out the quiet part out loud. Yeah, this was Chuck mm. Schumer when he when when this comes up. But the president doesn't know these guys. He can't drain the swamp unless he has people that are willing that are from the inside. Some of these whistleblowers and stuff like that have to be like, bro. This is, there's an so entire. Why is he saying it if he's not going to do it? Because it it sounds good and it needs to happen. You just don't know what it is. You don't know how to do it. Yeah. You know, I'll be really psyched about a president when it's someone who's like says. They're gonna do some shit and does that shit. Well, that's not. And it becomes like a and it is like a, a man that you'd like look up to. Yeah, and an admir- admirable sure. kind of guy. And then that know? guy Even takes he a won't drive. Be running the country. Though. You and understand then, that. And then that guy. Why? Oh, why? why? Because I, I watch this. Do you think any decision in the world right now, including what to have for breakfast, is made by Joe Biden? It's no, a I think he's a figurehead. Correct. Yeah, 100%. But my point is like something that really did it for me. You know, a guy we used to train with was in on. Um, a special reconnaissance team when they were going after, you know, Saddam Hussein at the time, right? And when you're briefing, you're liaisoning with the Navy SEALs and the, you know, the commandos will fly you in and then they'll go here with you. And then there was a group of people that were there that were in the mission and leading the mission that were not CIA, Navy SEALs, Green Berets, and never introduced or told who they were, but it was like the highest level of operations on like the largest scale that you can imagine, right? Well, who the hell are they? 
Like the, the high, the special forces operator that sure. I know didn't even know who these people are, right? And they're running yeah. the operation. So whatever that term is, like Gerard was saying earlier, whether it's cabal, uh, the black suits or whatnot. So who's really making the decisions of America right now? So I Putin, mean, I can't Putin, answer uh, that. It's definitely not Joe Biden. Putin has a very famous... The people who... The, the corporations who, are, yeah, like, who, who have the, all the money that are influencing... And That's part of it, that, for sure. I think money... The, the money Glenn Greenwald has a problem. great... Glenn Greenwald has a great saying. He calls it permanent Washington. Like, just think of it as these are these people's jobs. They're CIA for 25 years. There's parts of the bureaucracy that we don't even know exist. They're, they're not on the books. You know what I'm saying? There's, you know, like, we think of government corruption and, like, oh, they spent uh, $6 billion on a hammer. How stupid are these guys? That hammer, that, 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 that's, that's just them being like, oh, what are we going to do with this black ops? Uh, fucking call it a hammer. That's, they're not spending $6 billion on a hammer. They're not idiots. These people aren't stupid. They're manipulative. It's very, very important for people to understand that. Everything that people are like, oh, these So is idiots. the swamp undrainable? Like, can someone go in there and be like, we're shutting down the CIA, we're shutting down this, we're shutting down every problem, every perma Washington figure? How would you figure? do it? I don't fucking know. That's the problem. But someone with some big balls and, like, you, who knows what's going on. Now you're talking, but you're talking about, you know, this is the CIA that overthrows entire countries. countries yeah, they, they might have. Op a, they a, might who, have organized have the coup. Power? A president would have that power. No? I think the last president that really honestly thought about doing it. JFK? They put a couple into mm. his skull. Yeah. JFK, right? Yeah. That's what you're talking about? You have one of the greatest generals in the history of America who was president, a guy who helped save the world, on the way out go. Eisenhower? On the way out. This is a dude who just fought the Nazis. This is a dude who was president of the United States. He doesn't say, don't let fascism rise again, watch out for communism. He doesn't say racism and, and diversity are an issue. He comes, he goes, guys, whatever you do, don't let this military industrial complex grow. This is a cancer. Don't let it grow. Don't let it grow. Do something about it now. Uh. Do something about it now. This Meanwhile, is a guy. He's a, gen a general. This is a guy who fought the Nazis. This is a guy who, who, nego who, who negotiated with Stalin in the Cold War. This is a guy who, who, who sent troops to Korea. And he didn't say the biggest issue facing us was communism, fascism, racial, gender, uh, anything divisive. He goes, Who's he saying that to? He's telling anybody, guys, fucking, you don't pay your gardener not to do the lawn. If we're going to give trillions of dollars to a military defense budget, the shit's going to fucking spend. Right. You have Who's a trillion gonna... dollar industry of people who make weapons. They get used they to need, getting that they, money for the they weapons. Need to be used. You say I'm not going to so give you that money. Either fabricate or create some kind of yeah. war. Yeah, and, and Raytheon says to, to you, Raytheon wars goes, make money, man. That's what yeah. it boils down yeah. to. Raytheon goes, oh, so you're not going? You don't want these weapons? Do, 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 do. Hey, Xi Jinping, what's happening, man? <laughs> <laughs> what's popping? Turns out these guys don't want these fucking weapons. What do you guys want these weapons? Wow, cool, trillion dollars. See you soon. Anyway, it's been cool. What do you do? How do you do it? What do you do? Yeah. Drain the swamp I mean, sounds good when you're standing there. Well, they don't fucking say it if you're not going to do we it. Need well, it sounds good. That's what we need. He said, Trump said he was going to release the JFK files. I'm from day one, I'm going to release the JFK files with no secrets. We're going to have no secrets. And they're like, all right, here's the files, bro. Yeah. Especially read this last line here where we fucking put one in his head. Please, release. You know, do it. Why not? What are you scared of? Yeah, why, why do you think he What are you scared of? He doesn't want to pull it in the fucking brain. Whatever, you lived a good life. Someone's got to fucking step up and, and do something. If he's not the right guy for it, then we get someone else. <sighs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a tough ask. That's oh, a tough that. ask. Nah, you'd be a fucking hero. If you actually get it done, you're, that's, what, that, what, that's not a good would way to fucking live hero, a life? Though? Would they be the hero, or would the media go ahead and be like, this guy got killed because uh, yeah, we but found we're talking We're talking about facts. I'm not talking about what they're good. How would you know the facts? Well, if he gets the job done, he gets the job done. There are kids out there today that believe Jeffrey Epstein actually killed himself. What he, did, facts? he didn't? Of course he <laughs> didn't. <laughs> how about that? Trump's been indicted three times. This motherfucker went to jail for how long? 28 months and 17 not months. A not a single... Not that anybody was counting. Not a single day in jail for anybody on the Epstein list. Not one. What, 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 not what would happen to the Trump kids if they were Hunter Biden? I mean, oh, what would happen to Trump if he was Joe Biden in this situation? Ah, oh, forget it's, about well, it. Well, you said it earlier. That's what you said. But it's a two-tier government two -tier. or two-tier policy yeah. or whatever it is. But, like, 
it's amazing that like something's not yeah. happening with everything that's going on. I, I do a joke about gun. it, but it's really true. I, I do this whole bit about it, and I'm like, well, you know, the real problem is, is like, you know, have you ever thought about smoking crack and selling children? Like, that's what mm. you should have done. You know, you're the real criminal. Yeah. But I mean, if you were, yeah. you know, if you were harvesting adrenochrome and, you know, <laughs> and, and holding hookers at gunpoint. On video, at your own will. Let's go to a local thing. computer repair shop. Yeah, right? Just take this, I don't want it. That's on it. And I mean, he, he records himself. He records himself just smoking crack stem yeah. after crack stem. Incest. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, and his daughter. Just, his daughter leaves the diary for someone else too. It's like these kids are like begging someone. Like, please, it's insane. Please, please yeah. us. help yeah. us. Help. Help. Still can't find that Chuck Schumer thing on that. Sorry, I uh, let me show you the results. Well, I think Gas Digital is friends with Amy Schumer. <laughs> yeah, so be. I think this might be. Might uh, be. That's funny. Might be. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. But it. here's uh. What must protect Amy's uncle? Oh, all. hold on. Is that too small to read? Yeah, I can't see that. Okay, here, one sec. I didn't see this, what you mentioned. More or less, Chuck Schumer, Chump comes out. Because a lot like, of them were from 2017, so I wasn't sure if that so was what you were talking about. It was right after he came in. Chuck Schumer, no, uh, Trump really dumb for attacking intelligence. See that one? See what the video says. That evil son of a bitch. Yeah, that's a up one, yeah. So, Gosh. so for people, let me wait for the ad. That, good job. So, more, more or less, to, to surmise, Trump comes out and says, "The CIA is out of control. We got to get the CIA. You know, they're 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 trying to like, when he first got in, the CIA was like, we need to go into Syria and Iran. We got to go in. We got to go in. He's like, I'm not going anywhere. Mm. We're not we're not doing these dumb fucking wars. So then he comes out and he writes a tweet about it, basically, and the CIA was like, don't you fucking ever do that again. Mm. Mm. And Chuck Schumer, who I believe was on the Intel committee, committee, comes out and like he looked like he'd been sweating. And he goes, this guy Trump is so dumb for going after the Intel committee. They've got a million different ways to fuck him. Yeah. That's basically what he said. And it wasn't like a political thing. It was an exacerbation thing. It was like, how dumb can this guy be? Like, you, those are that's the third rail. These are the guys you don't basically know. say like his days are now numbered. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, it was, that's, like, it was yeah, something along was those it. lines. I remember it. Does yeah. this look right, right to you? I don't know. Oh, Rachel, that was another one. Um, the latest statement, latest tweet, as you were just saying, <laughs> President Elect's latest, latest yeah. unsolicited pronouncement on the intelligence community. This was his tweet just a little while ago tonight. You, you see the scare quotes there. The yeah. intelligence <laughs> briefing yeah. on so-called Russian hacking was delayed until Friday, perhaps more time needed to build a case. Very strange. We're actually told, intelligence sources tell NBC News since this tweet has been posted, that actually this intelligence briefing for the President-elect was always planned for Friday. Pause, it pause. hasn't been delayed. Very important to note, he was right. There, there was no fucking rushing hack. Right. It was all bullshit. Right. This is, 50, yeah. And then they, what, had 51 intelligence officers, high up intelligence officers, lie. Lie about the it. The Steele dossier was the complete, Steel dossier. complete nonsense. Yeah. Play. Yeah. But he's, he's taking these shots, this antagonism, yep. this taunting to the intelligence Let me tell community. You, you take on the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday mm. of getting back at you. Boom. So, that's it. That's it right there. That's it. You take on the intelligence community. The fuck? They work for him. He's the president, elected by the people. They work for us. You take on them. They got six ways from Sunday to put you in jail for two fucking and years. And former CIA heads becoming U.S. presidents. I mean, it's very ancestral. Mm -hmm. You know, George Bush. I mean, think about that, too. Yeah. Yeah. And then George, who was the... Uh, who was the head of the CIA in the in the in the Dallas branch during the uh, during the Kennedy assassination? Bush. Might be worth a Google, people. <laughs> Might be worth That's a duck, no duck. And his own words: Do the Google. Do the Google. Do the Google. Yeah, man. So I I I, I feel for people that are overwhelmed by this information. I feel for people that are like, yeah, shit. I'm one of them. I'm frustrated as fuck right now, just having this this conversation. You know, it's like you don't know what to do. Like, OK, let's say let's say you're 100 percent right. Like, what do we do? Like, what do we do? What's the next step? Like, What do we do? Move to where? Move where? <laughs> Fight or flight. Well, it's it's, it's, true. it's an umbrella. If you're you know, what are you going to move to another state? You're still going to be part of it country. on a larger okay. scale. <laughs> yeah, move. Another country. Yeah. Shit. It's still it's, America is still, like, you know, the greatest no, country. Of course, in the world. I, I do believe in moving. I, yeah. I do yeah, believe in moving. Do about it? I do believe consolidate power. Voice Little. your opinion. You know what I mean? Voice your opinion. Show up. No, it does. Show up peacefully. Peacefully protest, 
But I mean, no, is that gonna no, really no, make no change, now. Though? Is that really going to make change? I mean, show me strength, any protest I've or, said or march the that's ever flip the other person's yeah right you yeah, know it's kind of true like anything that people it's protest true. march or object about how many times well, I mean, be, other people say oh you know what they're right voting. all right everybody go home we're gonna listen to you yeah you can't even say one. Vote, voting Girls, vote, voting they, somebody new now because now you know you have so much so all, all these discrepancies with the votes and this mm -hmm. and that and the 2,000 mules and this I, I got to agree like, with Gerard. Like, how in the world would they ever allow Trump to win? I just, I, if they I did what they did they with didn't the election, think it was there's happen. no shot. Yeah, no, but I'm saying moving forward now in 2024, yeah. if they went through all the lengths of what they did to, I mean, listen, Burt, you know, Burt Watson, Joe Lewis, you know, who he used to manage, Joe Lewis voted in the last presidential election. He's been dead for like 20 years, you know, out of Philly. I mean, he there was a liter legitimately a vote from him. And there's multiple stories yeah. where people. Joe Lewis, the former champion. Yeah, boxer, he voted in the election. Yeah, he's like, been dead. For yeah, and maybe he voted three times. And how about this? I moved into a house at the time of the election. Burt and, Watson um, used to manage Joe Lewis. I got things in the mail. Did you say Burt Watson used to manage Joe Lewis? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, not Joe Lewis. Uh, Joe Frazier, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Smoker Joe Frazier. That's right. what I meant. Sorry. Still, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, things were mailed to the house for the mail in ballots. Mm -hmm. And there was three, there were registered Democrats that used to own the house that I moved into at the time. And they were sent three different ballots in like their name with like a middle initial in it. They could have voted three times. Sure. So each person in the household, there was a husband and a wife, there would have been six votes for that election. So if they mm. sent it with one misspelling, one with uh, one initial added. And I remember they came to the house that time and I was like, oh my God, these mail-in ballots. Are... It's insane. It's insanity. They got six. Yeah, I mean it's 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 nuts. It's, it's, nuts. it's not. It really is crazy because you look at it and it's like one of those things that's in your face. They could have voted six face. times. Yeah. So how many other households around the country did that happen in? Well, ballot harvesting is it's a, it's a strategy, and, and it's a strategy and that the Republican Party needs to jump on. Well, this is I think what's going to happen. So if I had to make a prediction about how they're able to keep Trump out, right? I think you're going to look at a scenario where the next election there's like. Trump has 120 million votes and Biden has 110 million votes and there's going to be 230 million votes counted, but only 190 registered voters. So yeah. you're going to look at the situation. from both sides. Well, that's the thing. You're going to see 50 million Trump votes thrown out that are probably bullshit. Mm. They're going to be right. He is going to cheat. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind. That they're just you can't gonna, can't beat them, join them. That's it. How how? But do now you're gonna have to go vote with a passport in a post office, just like you have to do anything else of uh, anything that's legit. Like I mean, it should be. Mike, we got fa we got face yeah. recognition on our phone. If I, I want to play a it's fucking crazy. game, that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> if I want if I want to do if I want to play fucking break a block, break <laughs> yeah. a block. I got my my phone it's recognizes right. my face. Yeah. You could do voting like that on an app. Why like, is there not facial because recognition? Because they have control for over it. With yeah, not. Mm. again, guys, it's very very important for anybody listening to this. You really really have to come to this conclusion. These people are not stupid. This is happening for a reason. They are manipulative. They're not stupid. They you think we're stupid. That's, that's, that, that's it. Because, frankly, stupid we, Americans. we may not be stupid, but what we are is comfortable. Yeah. We're comfortable. But we weren't comfortable for too long. I think what happened was when they started attacking the kids... And and doing the different shit with the vaccines with the kids, the trans tranny story hour, yeah. all that crazy shit. Yep. I think where you really did, where they really fucked up the left and the liberals and all that shit I, was was it going after the kids because now you woke up, you woke up mom mm. like with that homeschooling and the kids being you sure. know staying at home. Now they are looking over their shoulder, seeing what the teachers are pushing, the mm. agenda that they have in the classrooms, and the indoctrination of all this crazy yeah. shit. But they had already lost two three generations before they woke up. Right. Look at the damage that was already I, done. But what I I'm saying is now the comfortability is a huge factor. Mm. Um, and I don't know what the answer for it is because, like, it's hard to go to war when you're sleeping in satin sheets and you got fucking mm. Netflix and you got Uber Eats and you got some pussy. It's like, all right, I'm good. You know what I mean? It's it's e it's too easy to be alive and, like, to be comfortable. Yeah. And so the op oppression just kind of, it's, 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 it's light, but it pours on, it pours on, sure. it pours on. It's uh, you know and I, I don't know what the what really for the a long time is. it was it was your you know your side of the fence, you know it's not happening on my side of the fence yeah right but now it came to you because they're telling they're you they're pushing you, that fence back further and further well when they right? tell you you can't leave your fucking house or you can't make money to provide for sure. your family your business yeah you know? now it's now it's shut the fuck up Listen, your opinion you, doesn't you've, matter you've lost you've lost a lot during this time right didn't you I've you've lost, lost a lot, your yeah. business. 
I uh, lost my my business. My I had to sell my house. Uh, you know, I had a divorce. Um, I lost family members while I was in there. Um, you know, I a lot of shit. But I mean, and I don't want to go off on a terror, but I gained a lot from this. Like this was a val- really well, tell, valuable. Tell us experience. about that. I'm sure you got a lot of perspective. So you know, a lot and of a lot, of a lot of times when you suffer, like we our instincts are to avoid suffering. Right. But suffering is where the all the growth comes. You right. know. That's right. where you kind of you have those like dig deep moments, you know those come to God moments. And that's where you like you you elevate. Well, that's where you have to endure. You know, yeah. rejoice in hope. Romans twelve twelve. Rejoice in hope. Endurance and uh, uh, endurance suffering. Did you have this religion before? Is this something? No, you, you kind of. I was gained? A, I was just an attendee. Okay. You know, I was just an attendee going to you know my church, and uh, a laid back Christian church, um, Freedom Church in Oak Ridge, and I just you know I was just a fly by day kind of guy going through there, but. Ultimately, it became, I can't do this. I can't do this alone. There's no way in hell. And I just pushed all my problems, you know, uh, uh, to, to, to God. Uh, I recognized him as my Lord and Savior um, and, and, and accepted that Jesus, you know, Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of our sins, past, present, and future, for the sins of the world when we were his enemies. And once I did that, I knew, like, I, I knew shit. I, I I really you knew felt your I, life change. Right. But June 1st of 2021 was an incident that I I asked God. I was in my cell and uh, we had been singing like I started earlier like that uh, um you know uh, uh, the national, national anthem. anthem. Right. So after the national anthem I'd get people fired up and start singing uh, God bless America and shit, right? So we're all locked down. You're locked down. Single cell. Nobody you can't see anybody. So I'd get everybody going, right? And uh in comes this guard and you know it's it's you know SRT uh, uniform, you know, special response team, uh, uh, you know, all, all jacked so up. He's you got know. body armor and shit on. Yeah, not 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 head, not the head shit, but you could tell he's ready to go. And he comes in and shit, and he's you know telling everybody to shut the fuck up. And I'm laughing at him. I'm like, you know, ain't no chance. You know, I love America. He looks at me, fuck America. He's got a patch on his on his shoulder. You know, right? I'm like, yeah, you got it. And I'm laughing him off. And he's telling everybody, when you wake up in the morning, Fairland ain't gonna be here. And I'm saying, you know, I'm not going anywhere, dude. Uh, now you hear everybody through the vents, you know, kick it off with it. And uh, so I slept with my my Velcro uh, rolling sneakers on, you know, and waited because I knew he was coming back. I knew he was coming back. But I knew he was coming back with more, with more guys. So he came back with three other guys. Um, two of the guys I knew from uh, uh, um, the canine unit that were kind of cool with me. And then this other guy, he was fucking like 6'10". You know, he opened up your door because where I was, they had to open up your door. You didn't have a bean slot. So they literally had to open up your door and kind of come in. So they would serve breakfast, shit like that, right? So I put up a, a fucking little thing on the door like, no breakfast. You know, don't fucking come in here. They were coming anywhere, and I heard, you know. Most important meal of the day, Scott. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they, that's just the thing. They'd come at 2.30 in the morning or fucking, they would fuck with you. So uh, they were coming up, and I heard the keys. Yeah, they were serving said, serving you breakfast, whether you wanted or not. <laughs> whether you wanted or fucking not. You were getting whacked. And the, yeah. the crazy shit was the guy that was like 6'10", his fucking body's outside the door. And all of a sudden, you see a hand come in, and yeah. it's like right in front of you. What's for breakfast this morning? Right. A knuckle sandwich. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> knuckle Sammy. But he, uh, I heard him coming back up, and he, I heard the keys, and I was like, yeah, South 30, this one right here. And I had prayed. I had prayed. I was like, look, I know I'm new to this spiritual journey. I said, but uh, protect me. Protect me, because shit's going to go down. Yeah. So protect me. Um, you know, I'll forever praise your you name. Think gonna, you think know? they were coming in there just to fuck you up or try and kill you? When they said you, you weren't going to be here tomorrow, they were saying uh, you're going to be in the hospital I, well, or I think, you're going to yeah, be I think transferred? Was, yeah, or? yeah, no, that, I think it was more of a beating. All but, right. you know, because it was common practice in that unit that I was in. Yeah. And CTF. Yeah, they were, they were, they were jacking up dudes all the time. Were those yeah. the wolves? No, that was at prison. I was at prison one day. Can you share that story? <laughs> yeah, yeah, without a doubt. So th- this one, well, just this, finishing this, this one it's up. It's very important yeah. that people know, like, this is not supposed to happen. This no. Is, you still have no. human rights when <laughs> no. you're in jail. This no. Is, yeah. you're still, no. I was on my guard the whole time. You know. So he, uh, they came up, he popped the door, and uh, he came in. And the other the other two guys, they, he shut off his body cam before he came in. So that was one thing that was like, I was like, why are you shutting off your fucking camera? Keep it on. Keep it the fuck on, and we'll do what we got to do. You know what I mean? Sure. So everybody's hearing this through the vents, but nobody can see. And the other guards turn their back to it because they didn't want nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. So he comes in and I, you know, he's in my face and he's foaming out the fucking mouth. Like this guy, 
Why? The original I know, guy. Uh, yeah. The original yeah, guy. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So I know this guy. I know this guy. Wants, first. Yeah. Begging I know you. he fucking wants the tag, all right? Yeah. So I'm... It's like the fucking best stare down I ever had, right? So I just... Well, shit, I, if the camera's off, you might as well go first, buddy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what... I was waiting for him to jump No, I'm off. saying you should have went first. That's another thing I could have. Because technically he wasn't allowed in my cell because he wasn't a lieutenant, a white shirt. Sergeants aren't allowed in your cell. Uh. So all shit, I fucking found that. Well, he had two other, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but he, he had two other guys with him that would have clearly. Oh yeah, no, there was three. Had their no, there was he three. Had a he had a six or, foot ten yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. They and the other found, two canine guys, contraband. they would have jacked me up. Sorry, you're you're something. at the stare down. You, you're, I didn't mean to. So he gets he, he's he's in my face and he's foaming out the mouth, and I just. Stared into his fucking eyes, like like I knew I I knew I'd wreck him. That's not I, I I knew that, but I saw his whole shit change. And I I'm telling you, this is how I know God is real. I prayed for it, and it happened. And I saw his whole body change to where his a furious look of pain that he wanted to instill on me became wow. He backed up, looking at me, fucking like I'm a weirdo, and completely changed his whole demeanor. Are you, you, you right? Hey, up. Uh, what was just his backs name? Out of, and backs out of the room. Sergeant the two- Sergeant Holmes. Sergeant Holmes, if you're listening, open invitation anytime you want to come on with Scott and have a conversation about this. Ah, I would love it. Open love invitation. It. Heal the wounds. Either that or a charity boxing match. So what do you think? You think uh, <laughs> you think you, Start with the conversation. You, you think he uh, he changed his mind, or you think you think God changed his mind? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He and his intentions were to fuck you up, without a doubt, without a doubt, without. And a doubt. he 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 looked at you and saw something that he was like he was like you good. He saw yeah, he saw the cross on his. He back came back. Like, he oh. came, no, I got this. I did it. <laughs> I did. I did this in the cell on Christmas, so that was. Six months later, what a staple! Merry Christmas! Felt good. Merry Christmas! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was uh the, you were you referenced another story? Oh, uh, about the wolves. So we've been here. Uh, you know, as soon as he got home and we had our first lunch, you know, I had a zillion questions, mm-hmm. a hundred thousand oh, questions. Yeah. And I like fucking details, specifics. So yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to know everything. And then he was telling me some stories. I mean, I'll tee it off for him. Of, you know. They pick you up when you get transported, right? And you get on the bus, but they don't tell you where you're going. So he's like, I'm going south, and I'm just driving down the turnpike. You're making stops at different, like, jails. People are getting on and off. And then he's just, like, the last guy on the bus, and he's like, where the fuck am I going? And then when you do get to the penitentiary or the camp, there's levels, you know, like a camp. And then you get into, like, harder security and then more security and then the worst of all. Mm -hmm. And then you can take it from there. I mean, you're welcome to that. Yeah, I was all over the place. Um when I get, yeah, so when I uh, we were stopping at different prisons, I really, they sent me to Philly, so I think I'm going up to Fort Dix in Jersey, right? Which we asked for. I was like, all right, cool. The uh, judge asked for it, and everything. So the guys leave. I get to Philly. That bus for Fort Dix leaves that morning. So I'm I'm picking out this little cell. I'm like like a fucking puppy. Hey, dog. wait, guys. Hey, 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 wait, I... wait for me. <laughs> right? So you you forgot me. They're like, no, you're on the bus going south. I'm like, well, I just came north from. DC, where can I possibly be going? Man, we're just going down. We're going down. We're going down. And we're stopping at all these different spots. We're and going finally, down, down, uh, and early around. And sugar, we're going down swinging. I'll, I'll be your number one with a bullet. A loaded gun complex, cock it and pull it. We have to do a s- yeah, song yeah, at least right. at one yeah. at once. So anyway, episode. tell us about your horrible life story. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, can we, can we just <laughs> no, walk no, past that? No, 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 guys, keep going, keep going. What the hell was that? Yeah. I was a uh, Fallout Boy. Yeah, what on. instrument were you Fall playing? Fallout Boy. Huh? Yeah. Was that the drum? Like, down, down. Mike, come on. The triangle. Mike, how come the only thing you can teach us about is young black culture, not young white culture? You know I got the Riz? You didn't give me credit on that. He knows what, what, we were, we were, uh, he knows what Riz coming is. He up doesn't here know what Fallout no is. No cap. No. We were coming up here today, and no uh, Gerard said something about Chris, and I, I was like, oh, Riz, yeah. Riz. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. 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 Referencing Mike, yeah. yeah. No cap. No cap. Anyway. So, so anyway, you're driving to hell. You're going down, yeah. down. I'm going down, down. Don't do it again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I end up at Butner in North Carolina. Jesus, on a bus? On a bus. Chained to somebody, too, by the way. No, For not real. to somebody, to myself. I was black boxed. Like, everywhere I went, I was shackled and... 
What a guy with a shotgun behind you? Are they? They're, they're treating you like somebody who hit a cop. Is that the idea here? Is that they're just treating me like I'm? So I, my public safety factor was a level seven. That's Jeffrey Dahmer. Mm. So the greatest public safety factor you could have. That's what they gave me. Wow. So I end up. Do, 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 do you have priors? Like, well, why is this? Nothing that would be. <laughs> Nothing that would that would what make this answer around question. It sounds like yeah. a yes or no question to me. <laughs> yeah, I got priors. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing like stripes. that. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing like I that. I got right? stripes. Yeah. yeah, I got a couple of tickets now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Been, in, been in a bar dust up for yeah. seventeen. Oh, yeah. 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 Just a few. Just a few. Yeah. So yeah, he uh I get to Butner, right? And it's like the camp is at the bottom and then you go to like the low and then you're going up the hill and then there's the one and then I get to the deuce and I'm like one of the last guys on this <laughs> fucking bus. And I look and they're all standing out there with their shotguns and shit and waiting for I get off the bus and I'm doing the penguin walk, you know, and, and I hear uh the uh, uh the captain, he's like uh fair lamb. We've been waiting for you. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Here we yeah, go. Great. Right? Yeah. yeah this Andy is gonna... Dufresne. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be awesome. And uh, then he whispers into my ear, uh, welcome to the land of the wolves. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm going to be fucking brawling in about 20 minutes. I walk out. Imagine the guard shit. saying that to you. He told me shit. Oh, that's and what we're welcome, oh, okay. oh, welcome to the okay. land of the wolves. Yeah. Welcome to the land of the wolves. Okay. I'm home, baby. Yeah. yeah. So my my, like, my oh, instinct with something like that is be to just be like, as be sarcastic cool as it. possible. Mm -hmm. Like, it's about time I'm getting the respect I deserve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a comedic drop. My, uh, so so are, are my accommodations prepared? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You got my rider, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the wolves. Yeah. Well, Ended up being. Uh, it was. It wasn't as bad as they tried making it. You know, gotcha. they tried scaring the shit out of you. It sounds like you need uh, a human rights attorney, man. First of all, maybe he's listening at this. Well, that goes even deeper. Yeah. I was, uh, so they denied my halfway house shit. Look up, um, now I know we're running low on time, but look up, what were those Brooklyn attorneys at BLM? They threw a Molotov cocktail into a cop car. I think they got a year. Yeah, I remember that. So you did twice as much time as they did. They bombed a cop car. Mm. Yeah. This is the shit that drives you out of your mind, right? Right. If everything was equal, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but if everything was equal, you fucked up, you hit a cop. I get it. All things being equal, fine. Right. But the right. fact that they they drop the hammer on you right. and you guys while everybody else goes away scotch free, that drives you out of your fucking mind. Right. Of course. I, I mean, I can't even imagine the anger inside of you. I know. She was the, a lawyer, too. I one. think they both are. 15 months. Yeah. They got 15 yeah. months yeah. for an incendiary bomb. You got 28 months for a jab. Yeah. 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 It's unreal. It looked like a cross to me. Was it a jab? It was a stiff jab. Okay, I thought it was a cross. It was a stiff if jab. it was a cross, he'd still be in. Uh, that's true. It's a, it, you know, they, he landed, but it wasn't a significant strike. You know, so I think the, you know, the, the harsh reality. And, and look, I can't even imagine how he feels having actually done time. I know how I fucking feel when one of my posts gets taken down. Yeah, yeah. And, and somebody else's post, war. like, you know, the guy in South Africa is singing there, you know, kill Talk white guys. kill white people. You know, shoot to kill. Yeah, kill yeah. the boa. Kill the farmer. Yeah. 18 you, million views. Yeah, and our boy uh, Tommy G gets his uh, Twitter taken down. Oh, the uh, the Taliban's is still still allowed to rock, though? That's wild, yeah. Oh, okay. How about the sitting president? Trump is banned on Twitter. Yeah, yeah the Taliban's yeah. able to go on. Yeah, Tr I mean, Trump, it, yeah, it sitting president. Exactly. No sense. Exactly. Makes no sense. Do we have anything in the comments? Any good comments from the day? I, I'm sorry, guys. I know we're supposed to be doing comments every 15 minutes, but this has been a, a, a very interesting Sorry, I was podcast. so into it, I forgot to ask for... For questions. Well, if we had I'll anything then, and we want to get yeah, off just real a little quick, sit, little anybody back through. in there, go for it. Sure. But uh, yeah. Do you want to sing another song, G? Uh, I got you. What, what, what do we want? Tiny Bubbles. Huh? Tiny Bubbles? <sighs> well, I just heard the, the news today. today. Come on, Mike. Seems my life is it's gonna, gonna change. change. I close my eyes. Mm. Begin to pray and tears of joy stream down my face with arms wide open under the sunlight. Come on, Scott. Wow. Welcome to this place. I'll show you every thing with arms wide open. 
Yeah. There you go. Nice, 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 yeah. nice, nice. Oh, there you go. Go. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You didn't know you were getting a musical oh, performance today. We, we gotta, you guys are kind of good. Like, it's weird because it's like, it sounds okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I want to hate it, but yeah. it's like, I'm watching George Passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the what electric it's, triangle it's again. Like, it's, it's like watching yeah, Adele, that was good. Adele perform. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like a Will yeah. Ferrell it's skit, like, though. It's like, like old Saturday Adele and new Adele. Thing. It's like Adele before the lap band surgery, Liddell after the lap band surgery. <laughs> You're not that bad, though, guys. Good job. Thanks, thanks man. Thanks, thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you. That's what I, I was tell you, waiting for. I'm shocked that you don't seem angry. I'm not. You don't seem as well, angry or, or this as is, I thought you would be. Well, this is what it boils down to. People ask me, like, would you do it again? Like, that's the question. And it's not a, it, for me, it's not a yes or no this way. I, 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 I ask you, would you be willing to give up two and a half years of your freedom for eternal life through Christ? Because mm -hmm. that's, that, that's what happened with me. So are, are you are you sober now as well? Or are no, you? it's not that. It's not about being sober. Yeah. I enjoy a drink just, you know, huh. like with everybody huh. else. Mm -hmm. But it, it's huh. it, what's that? Had a little breakfast today. Oh yeah, I had a little had a nice can of beer with my breakfast. Oh, you know, nice. ah. perfectly normal. Yeah, what, where did, where did normal. why did why, where, where what, the sobriety? What's with, what's with the fucking snitch over here? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Thank. Where, what's the hey, sobriety? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm from. promoting it. Yeah. I'm saying. Like, uh, and hold on, it wasn't breakfast. Guy, hey, Michael it wasn't, Jordan. It wasn't breakfast. Just because you have eggs at noon doesn't make a fucking breakfast. Well, my lot. breakfast is when I break my fast. Oh, today I broke my fast with you. Michael Jordan used to have a couple beers in the morning, play a little piano, and go out there in the playoffs. Is that right? Yeah, talks about the last dance. Thirty. Six holes of golf. I have a out. couple beers. Yeah. Go fuck around on the piano. Yeah. <laughs> Drop thirty-eight on a pro athlete. Yeah, yeah. it's actually for playing. amazing how yeah. pro athletes can do that. Even Antonio Brown, when that whole thing came up, that he was like drinking at like three in the morning, yeah. sneaking girls, and then going to practice at six. Yeah. It's amazing how their bodies get like I can't fucking for, function for a right. short period yeah. of time. For a short period. Yeah, yeah you can't. It's not ideal. Yeah, it's not not not, not, not smart. Yeah, it ended up ended up good for AB. Yeah, things yeah. ended well. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Where can people find you, Scott? You could go to. Uh, Either one of my social media accounts, you know, mm -hmm. obviously Facebook, uh, Instagram, Scott Fairlam. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. I, ho I hope you're lawyering up big time, man, and we would love to see the footage that you've seen become public. I would, too. Uh, you know, I, I have a lawsuit already uh, filed in North Carolina. I filed it when I was in prison uh, for a violation of the American Disabilities Act, mm -hmm. um, which states that you can't deny an inmate programming. Uh, based solely on a disability, and that's what happened with me. They denied me halfway house. I, I was cleared, signed off on by the warden, assistant warden, everybody, uh, my doctors there, um, for a year of halfway house time. I should have been home in November of 22. Um, ultimately, it was denied uh, by New York, uh, saying I was medically inappropriate, um, mm. even though I was self-carry medicated and had my medicine in the in my cell and never met the doctors. Everything was just, you know, done over the uh, speakerphone. But um, huge black and white issue. It's obviously, a, you know, cut and dry. Mm -hmm. They they fucked up. Yeah. But again, it, you know, that that is something I hope that you get taken care of for yourself. But, but bigger than you is, like you said, the footage that is being that is being held from the American public to right. make their own decisions about what happened right. on a day that our government is saying is just as bad as nine. Think about just the little the little bit that Carson put out, yeah. showing Jacob Chansley like being escorted. He was sure. escorted. It literally exonerated him. Absolutely, the footage after years even, in but prison. Here's what the thing is, though. They didn't change the whole narrative did on who footage? that guy was. Did that ever come out? Like, how did he get that footage to be able to release it? Well, that that's... McCarthy had gotten the footage and it passed it along to Tucker Carlson. Yeah. And it, apparently that was the final straw that Fox was like, no, which makes you wonder. Well, they got rid of Carlson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which is crazy because people have this the, the persona that Fox is like would controlled allow opposition. It, you know what I'm yeah. Controlled opposition. There's so much. There's so much more to it, and there's so much more evidence that could definitely help all these guys out. You know, it's 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 it sucks. It's fucking unfortunate. It sucks. You know, it, it's as much as I couldn't stand that dude. I, I knew he didn't do anything wrong. Fuck guys walking around with a shirt off and a megaphone. Mm -hmm. And he was yeah, letting it. You, you see how polite he was. He's like, God right. bless you. It was literally thank you. And, oh, 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 go through this well, way? Okay. He led, he led, they he led, he led prayer. Yeah. There's another yeah. guy. Oh, man. I, I shouldn't. God bless it. I should have never forgotten this game. His very strange name, like George Michael George or something like that. He's the guy that took Nancy Pelosi's laptop. And he was found like two days later. Committed suicide, had no debt, perfect marriage. He committed suicide with a rifle mm. to his chest. Mm. 
but had the wherewithal to kill himself upstairs, bring the rifle back downstairs, walk back upstairs, sit in the seat after mm. he shot himself what? in the chest with the I... rifle. Right, right, right. So he was suicided. He was suicided. He was suicided. He was Clinton. He was Clinton. Allegedly. The new, the new trendy term is unalive. He was unalive. He was unalive. Where did that come from? He unalived I mean, himself. I, yeah, yeah I, look, the, va the veil is being pulled back, and my hope here, you know, is that I think if anything good comes from people like your sacrifice, is that there is now a new generation of people who are completely eyes open, eyes wide mm. open to... With our, oh no! With our, yeah, 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 yeah. Please, please <laughs> take it away. <laughs> yeah, their their eyes are open to the corruption in these industries that we're told just to blindly follow. We're told to blindly follow our government. We're told to blindly follow our our educational systems. We're told to blindly follow our our medical systems. And now I think it's a very good thing that people are questioning these uh, these yep. these, these power structures. Question. You know, it may it may be going too far where people disagree. Well, everything that these guys said was a lie, so now the earth is flat and don't take any medicine whatsoever. That's probably an overcorrection. Although right. I've never seen around Earth, so I don't know. I can't say anymore. Maybe the moon is cream cheese. Who the fucking knows, right? But questioning all these power structures is a very important thing. And if you get anything out of today, it's that having that conviction will you know you'll. Be able to live with yourself no matter what the outcome is. Yeah, man, critical mm. thinking. Yeah, it's it's be you know, like that. That's that's the thing. I think when you people came out and were you know that's the reason everyone got so railroaded is if you're coming out and standing up for what you believe in mm -hmm. and it's not what they want you to believe in. Yep. You know they're gonna fucking you know uh, bite back. Sure. You know. And now what we have to do next time is not let it happen. We can't let people get railroaded. We can't. We got. We have to stand behind the people who are standing up for us. And, and and there will be a next time, probably sooner than we'd all want there to be. But for Mike Constantino, for Scott Fairlam, for the great Slick Make the Ruler, Mickey Gall, I am Gerard Michaels. This has been Slick and Thick. If you enjoyed this episode, please use code SNT30 for 30 free days of all gas digital content. Check us out Saturday at 2 o'clock. We'll be back with two brand new guests. You're going to love them. Oh, no, this Saturday, I'm sorry, is one guest. Our comedy contest winner, Cass O'Malley, joins us. For Mickey Gall, I'm Gerard Michaels. This has been Slick and Thick. Enjoy the rest of Gas Digital. Peace. Peace.